Hello YouTube, this is Knife Sharpening Norway. I'm just gonna sharpen four knives. I've been using lots this beautiful CCK lately. As you see, if I can get to focus, plant it in. So you see, but and my uh, Victorinox. Yes, my everyday beater, Patrick Kalvik, custom pairing knife, a cheap Korean something something carbon knife of eBay. She's horribly ground and even and yeah, but it's actually you see to focus. It's actually pretty decent tin. So those are the knives I'm just using a Nanova Professional 1000. I'm just gonna get some water and a Takashima Natural Stone. That's gonna be my main stones now. I don't need any fancy stuff. I'm gonna start with the Korean something something knife of eBay. Costs me under 10 bucks from eBay. It's actually fairly, fairly good. It helps uh, edge pretty good. I'm just gonna tighten this. And yeah. The edge is now off. I'm gonna do it one more time. Is that the movie? Yeah, it is. Just removing the edge. That ensure I got a fresh apex to start. Just thin it a little here on the blade rod. It feels actually like it's 58 to 60 on the stones, maybe 58. It's a little bit gummy, so it arrived with the most horrible edge you could find, but what do you expect for under 10 bucks? If you could sharpen, it's actually a fairly decent petty to have around. So you see the stone is completely black. Black, it's removing plenty of metal. I'm just thinning it a little behind the edge now. Just doing that every time I sharpen it. It's a good habit to work in. And I can feel the, how uneven the ground is. It looks okay straight, it isn't, but it's, yeah, it isn't a problem. You can use a knife, it's got a little bend, etc. The tip is actually very, very thin on this, so I often use it to clean up beef or big pieces of pork, etc. So then, just wipe it off. You can see how uneven it is. But as I say, it gets pretty damn sharp. So. If you look at that tip, that's. Hmm, I have uh, camera focusing problems, but without it. If you look how uneven. That is towards that side. Here is a huge dip. You can actually feel it. It's a huge dip. That's why it looks like I'm been careless, but it isn't. But hey, does it matter? No. It's it's uh, just getting it sharp like any other knife. You can't be. Um, be um, what was it? Juicy or medium and a knife in this price range. Does it job? Yeah, it's got an okay heat rate, okay steel, gets plenty sharp, and the edge lasts pretty decent. Actually, longer than most uh, Victorian Ox knives. So, yeah. Just 
missing actually at all making it more uniform. There I go. Pop my burr. Just see here. I haven't so focusing a little more on that area. I'm not bothering flattening the stones now because it's just about getting a sharp edge to this or pick it up. There, I got no burn on the entire edge. Just flipping and repeating the steps. As you see, it don't take long to sharpen when you have established edge beforehand, etc. etc. It takes two minutes to thin, one minute to sharpen, maybe. Repeat on all stones. Just a little more on that side. I think I just... I can't remember what I searched for. I found this knife, but if you search green petty knife or something, I'm sure you will find it. It's uh, indentation here, here. I think that is the tag that is forged on. Just a tiny bit more here at the belly of the blade. There. At number, I'm just lightening up the pressure, just weakening it before going to the Takashima natural stone. Something on the stone. There. Now just using light pressure, just the barely the weight of the knife, cleaning it up. You can actually do it like this. You can actually see some here. Yeah, you can actually go like this on such a small knife. If you want to, but I regularly do like this because that's a habit for me. That's yeah, it's in view. I'm just using my mobile camera, so excuse me if there's not the best quality. Bought a new Samsung S10 Plus to use, so I hope it's a little bit better than before. really like something good to film with. Just make sure there. And I don't need this to be razor sharp. I don't need it to be polished. It's just a using knife. A uh, user knife, sorry not. I'm just using this to clean up stuff and yeah. There, I'm just stopping it fast on my pants leg. Just getting rid of if there's any burr. There. This is over here. Let's move on 
and then sort them out. I don't need it sharper than that. It's, as I said, a small petty. So. Moving to the next knife, just drawing this completely. Let's see. Then a small, um, small uh, pear knife made by Patrick Kalvik, which I love. And this too. And just then I go. Actually, do it simpler if I just go like this. Now I'm doing behind the edge. This is very just thinning it out ever so slightly. And this is a great way to learn to feel the sharpen. If you do a small knives, you can just do them like this. I forgot to drag off the edge. One, two, three. I'm still in view. Just adding a splash of water. There and continuing. Here, moving to the edge, I'm just gonna alternate here, taking it on the feeling, and then she, since it's this is scary thin at the edge, I'm using barely any pressure. I'm just gonna check for a quick burr. Maybe I got one, maybe. I Front, who knows? Let's see, can't actually feel anything. Can't see light refracting either, so I'm just gonna check if I have an edge established. This is so thin that the edge is. Just a little more, since it's so thin, it's hard to tell by this. Just a way to to lay now. Just gently kissing the stone. And this I want lots of bite in, so I'm actually not refining it as much as I should. Okay, it's me who use my knife, so I use them however I like. Some need say you need to be able to whittle here and yeah, God knows what you should be able to do. I don't really care. Let's see you. And there I got the edge from the entire length. So yeah. I'm just refining it. And the Takashima. Techniques. This is a great way to learn how to not fuss over edge. If it cuts, it's plenty sharp. You don't need to be hair whittling, hair popping, uh, shaving a uh, nuts ass. Shaving a fly, you don't need to split the atom, 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 
Yeah, you understand me. Don't need to be like a racer. It cuts everything in the kitchen. It cuts wood like you want it to, if it's an outdoor blade, if it does the job like you want it to do. It's plenty good. And I said earlier, oh, I love the smell of the Takashima. It's, it reminds me of being in the forest. Just wiping off. I'm just laying my fingers underneath and stropping it on my fingers. It's here. Just going like this. And no, I never cut myself. As I showed earlier, I can strop in my hands pretty fast because I've done this several thousand times. So, yeah. <coughs> It's actually Senor, porn star, porn star, and both are with Trump. So, yeah, it's tabloid from Norway. Half of it is just nice. As you see there, it's plenty sharp. Don't know how. As you see, it shaves pretty easily as well. I got extremely blonde hair, but as you see, there. Two knives in seventeen minutes. So yeah. Going to the next blade, which got used the most, we use it daily for slicing bread and most of the chores in the kitchen. You just need uh, some couple of potatoes and then it's there three times. Again, thinning it a little every time I sharpen to just maintain the performance of the blade. It's a good habit to get into. People have asked me about perfection. I don't mislike the guy. He seems like a good guy, but I, I'm disagreeing with how he sharpen. He says it isn't that important to tin. You can sharpen up the blade three, four millimeters, etc., without tinning. I can't stand behind that statement because then your knife is easily two, three times as thick at the edge than when uh, it was new. So yeah, you need to tin. You don't need to tin every time you shop. I just do it because then it's a smaller job. If you sharpen, say, five times normally just the edge, need to tin it for maybe 20 minutes because a knife needs to be tin. It's the thinness that makes it glide through stuff. It's, yeah, it's easy as that. Even this Victorian ox I just can dry out of. It's a pretty, pretty good performer now because it's so thin. It actually holds its edge for a couple of two, three weeks with normal everyday use because it's thin. Let's see here. Yeah, as you see, it's plenty thin. That's a Victorian ox. It isn't a expensive Japanese made knife or something expensive from the Swilling Miyabi line or Kramer. Yeah, it's just a normal everyday kitchen knife. It's got okay steel. It could be lots harder. It's 56. It could be 58, 59 at least. It works. I think I'm going to 
don't want to burn there. I'm trying every the time I sharpen to get the burn less and less, smaller and smaller. Because the smallest burr, you will, if you can't detect it, you probably got a burr, but you sharpen until you can detect it and you waste metal, but you also stress the edge unnecessarily very much. There, um, most of the edge I'm just jointing. I call this jointing, but it's actually making sure the edge is uniform without any dips. This may have some dips in it because uh, we got um, some friends who have tried uh, a rod on this and I tried teaching them but even with a rod you get an even pressure so got a couple of dips I can feel but hey, no biggie they will sharpen out over time Took me five minutes, so we it don't take long to do this, as you see. I've taken the edge completely off every knife. If I didn't do this, it would take yeah, let's say maybe half the time. Just smoothing out. The Kashima is very good for that. I don't like my Asagi, the grey one, so I'm thinking of getting rid of it. This leaves a much better edge for my test. To the people who say fix it to a base, I know, but this still works. It twists and settles where it wants. Just doing the same thing, just dropping in my hand. And if I'm actually getting tired of making sharpening videos because I only do the same videos time and time again. So if you want to see something, please let me know. I'm not stopping my channel, but I want to make something you guys would enjoy. As you see, plenty sharp. So I got some armor maybe here. You'll see just popping off, making for a clean shaven man. You can actually see the shine on that edge. So, just making sure it's 100% dry. If it pops arm hair off, it's sharp enough, at least for my use. I don't need it to shave any more than my arm hair. Now, one of my favorite users. It's just so fun to use. 
Right now, first, make me sure I be begin at the very um, start of the edge. Two times. That's enough. Again, like every blade here, I actually need to choke up. I can't hold it here, so I do like this. Three fingers here, two fingers here. I do a pinch grip on this. And I start a little behind the edge. This CCK, it's actually pretty good. At least for the money, but I actually like it more and more. It's a joy to sharpen. That's one thing about it. I just actually haven't done this before, so I'll do it now. It's actually a joy to sharpen. It's pleasant on the stones. It's easy to keep sharp. It helps it edge before decently long. So I think this is maybe around could be a 58, 59. As you see, lots of swarf. See where I'm hitting. Yeah, I forgot this is salt in. I'm actually getting the edge sand. Remember on the cleaver, this is maybe 15. This, I'm sharpening this, so maybe. Three, four degrees height. I got a massive burr. <laughs> yeah, that's why I said it's crazy. If you saw again, the industries did because the height. You think this here would be around 15, but it's actually more like this. So I'm sharpening maybe at four or five degrees. Just. And listen to the burr. And again, starting a little behind the edge. But I ain't using lots of pressure. A little more than the weight of the blade. So let's say I add 200 grams to the blade. Continuing at the both tips because I'm using those tips. I found the shiny cleaver to be a highly versatile. I'm rocking a little to make it a little convex at edge. Yeah. Other side, I haven't got the burst. Just raising a little. Now I may be at 10 degrees. Just the weight of the blade now. That was the last knife. I'm at 29. I got my tiny tiny bar. I just need to do the very heel, the last maybe millimeter or so at the heel. I'm at the tip there, I think that should be enough. There. Yep. Again, just thinning it a little. Removing any shoulders. This is a high performance shiny cleaver actually. Burr hasn't flipped, so I'm racing to around 10 degrees again. Yep. 
just going back and forth now, weakening the burr. And you can easily use this with just a thousand edge and a little stopping, but I want it sharper, so I'm making it sharper. Just making sure it's clean of gunk. And everybody who wants to try a Chinese cleaver, try one from CCK. I get cheaper ones of eBay, but I want to try one with okay quality. Come on, it isn't expensive. It's, yeah, it's a workhorse. can actually try it actually flexes under my nail edge it's a so thin that you often see very skilled makers like Patrick Alvik uh, others with Robin Dahlman does this that to the knives to ensure the tests are oh their edges are um thin enough of course this isn't near those blades in quality but it's not a thin edge as any of them per cutting performance this is world class because it's so thin Now I'm beefing up the edge as you see. Or maybe at, it looks like I'm at 20, no, 30, 40 degrees. This is more like 20. I'm just making sure since the edge is so thin, it stands up to a little more reduce. Then I'm going back down again. Yes. To get rid of those shoulders. This is a blade I use a hell of a lot. I actually could survive just with these two. My pairing and my CCK. And uh, maybe one of those for beef. I'm finding it more and more fun to use this blade now. It's it's so high performance. I got a Tinder cleaver. Uh, this from Patrick Kolvik, which is a beast in performance. It's a harder, better steel. I got this, which is even better in 5200. But none of them give me the feel of the CCK. I feel like I got a authentic blade which is used by nearly everybody in China nearly has one it's not CCK it's something similar like Ashibasi or Lion or Dexter Russell or yeah something like that now again just removing the shoulders smoothing it out. This isn't thinning as such since um, since the stone isn't that abrasive. The stone I would guess is 2-3 thousand in grit. Smells so extremely good this one. So if anybody wants to gift me, I'm actually trying this way. Yeah, that works good too. 
wants to gift me a good um, good natural stone please please send my email as you see one drop is all you need to completely moist the surface I'm doing just to ensure it's polished Just one, two, three drops. Doing it the other way. And as I see, if you know how to sharpen, you can make most thing works. Actually, just you can see if I like that. Either the stone isn't flat or the CCK isn't flat. A little bit there, so I need to do more like this. And I'm guessing it's the CCK, not the stone. And the same here, just kissing the stone. That's about it. Something off on the edge now, on many of the knives, I can easily go just to a strop, load it with some uh, 3000 compound, 2-3 licks, and then go to the white 12,000 compound, and make this into a bloody straight racer. but what's the point? You cut food, you don't shave with them, you don't... Uh, yeah, it's... It's a tool. I'm so tired of seeing people and no, it isn't sharp. You need a 12,000 stone or... Yeah, you don't. If you want to shave and have a straight razor, then yes, you need. But... Come on. The only crazy guy who shaves with his chef knives is Niklas Gudmundsson. I met him a couple of times, really awesome dude. So, yeah. I'll stay drained of any water. I'm just gonna check. Yeah, that flexes. Oh, that's. Yeah, it's hard to point out, but can you see how thin that is at the edge? It's just insane. Just look at that. That's, that's thin. <laughs> that's thin. It's insane. You feel like you're holding a brutal for clear. And this, it's takes the most insane edges. You see, easily push cutting. Tip goes in. Yeah. That was how many did I say? One, two, three, four blades in 40 minutes with lots of talking. So yeah, I'm just chopping it to make sure it's dry on my sweatshirt. But yeah, as I said, if you want anything, you want to have any of my knives sharpened in the video, there's anything you want me to cover, like difference in stones and grits. I'm gonna try to make it, but please let me know. I can't run this channel without feedback from you guys. So thanks for watching. As always, I love you. Please subscribe, share my channel, hit the bell icon, get notified. And yeah, thanks for watching.
Bye.